to my channel so today's video is going to be about why I think bearded dragons don't make good beginner pets and I see a lot of people getting a bearded dragon as their first reptile I actually got Zeus as my first reptile but I was completely prepared I did four months of research before and I still ended up making some mistakes but I did know better than like to use sand and things like that but beside the point the first reason that I don't think they make great beginner pets is because bearded dragons are often always compared to leopard geckos or crested geckos. Like, should you get a leopard gecko or a bearded dragon? And I actually made a video about this myself and was giving some of the differences, but they are just so different care-wise. And bearded dragons are much harder to care for than a leopard gecko. I probably spend 15 to 45 minutes max a day caring for my leopard geckos, while Zeus I take 1 to three hours a day caring for him. So that's a lot more time um, caring for a bearded dragon, which is the first reason I don't think they should be compared. And I also feel that people are always putting them in like a light that makes them seem as easy as a leopard gecko, but they are definitely not, so. Second reason is bearded dragons need very large tanks. Compared to a leopard gecko, a full-grown leopard gecko can live in a 20 long to like a 40 gallon tank very comfortably for its entire life. Well, bearded dragons, I think personally a 40 gallon is the minimum for a juvenile to sub-adult bearded dragon, but once they are adults, no matter if your bearded dragon end up, ends up being 13 inches or 24 inches, I completely think the minimum is a 75 gallon, which is a very large tank um, that will probably take up your entire desk or entire dresser. Um, so that is just a big comparison. Well, a leopard gecko could easily make it half your desk but it's going to take up a whole dresser or a whole entire part of your room. Well, like a crest gecko or a leopard gecko, again, only takes up a small part of it. So that is another reason I don't think bearded dragons should be make be or make good beginner pets. The next thing that I don't know why people don't share this enough, but I am perfectly comfortable sharing it. Bearded dragons are very expensive animals. Bearded dragons are not like a leopard gecko that you spend $5 to $15 a month getting new crickets and stuff. No. I spend in total probably $60 to $80 a month on all of my animals, and usually 40 to 50 of that is my bearded dragon. So pretty much my bearded dragon equivalents the cost of the other seven animals I own. So they are very expensive animals. Um, when it's vet visits or every six months you have to change UVB, which is between $40 and $50 usually, or you have to buy a new light, like heat light or you buy new decorations because they get bored, buy new feeders, buy salads weekly. It's just a lot into it, like traveling wise to go get the stuff and also just generally spending the money. So bearded dragons are very expensive. So if you don't have like at least 500 to $1,000 a year to spend on one and need a vet visit and all the other supplies they need, Please don't get one. The fourth reason I think that they don't make good beginner pets is because they are quite needy. My bearded dragon comes out usually about five or six days a week and he's usually out for 45 minutes to like two hours. I don't keep him out usually longer than that because then he starts to get kind of cold. But that is quite a long time that I need to supervise him or else be in the room or have him on me or something like that. And that is not coming into care or anything like that. So they are very needy animals. You need to bathe them once a week. You need to feed them every day to every other day. You need to make sure ratios are good. You need to make sure you always have calcium and other vegetables and fruits. And they are very needy animals. They are also very into attention for the most part. I know some beauties that don't, but my beard dragon literally paws out his tank so much to come out and then I feel bad so I take him out. But they are very needy animals. It's not like a leopard gecko that you can take off for 10 minutes a day. And the final thing, which is number five, I believe, five or six, and this is the last reason, bearded dragons can be extremely picky. Now, if you get a bearded dragon and it's not picky and it eats its salads well, it eats any bugs you give it, you better be so thankful because my bearded dragon, no. He greens, but no. He will not eat them. And a lot of bearded dragons are like this. I'd say about 50% of them are like this, actually. Uh, bearded dragons can be very picky, so if you don't get one that's a baby, they're probably going to be picky unless they're old owners or whatever, whoever was caring for them, gave them a big variation. Zeus was given the same two things, and he 
barely eats anything else besides that. So uh, I have to try and constantly bribe him into eating other stuff. But uh, some leopard geckos can be picky as well, but they definitely can expand their palate much easier, in my opinion, so... I'm sorry I didn't take Zeus out for this video, I was going to, but then I like really didn't have the dedication to go lift his tank and move him. And I'm gonna take him out in a little bit anyway, because he's he needs a bath, but... That is the video. I hope this kind of helped you in no way, shape, or form am I trying to persuade you from not getting a bearded dragon as your first reptile or as a reptile, but I would definitely... If, if you're really set on getting a bearded dragon as your first reptile, don't just be like, oh, she doesn't think that they make good beginner pets, so I'll go get something else. No, because you're going to be bored of that other thing. You really sh should get the bearded dragon if you want, but just make sure you are completely prepared beforehand. Make sure you have the complete funds for one, and make sure if it needs to go to the vet, you won't just let it die or rehome it because you can't pay for it. So if you can't do those things, maybe consider getting something else or just not getting anything at all if you can't afford going to the vet if they ever need it because I feel like 50% of the time your pet will probably need to go to the vet sometime. They're just so personable for the most part. They're so funny and I wouldn't trade the world. I'd take like three bullets at least for Zeus. He is my pride and joy and I love him to death. So uh, with all this being said, I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Stay awesome. Bye guys.